Let's head to Doncaster Secondary College, where some of the Year 8 students have taken on the role of facilitator. They're helping their classmates to gain a better understanding of the issues related to body image. The Queen Victoria Women's Centre initiated the See Me project in response to the depictions of beauty and body image ideals, the use of narrow gender stereotypes and the use of digital image manipulation seen in the media, fashion industries and advertising industries. Doncaster Secondary College, Melbourne Girls College and East Preston Islamic College were selected to be involved in the See Me project. I became the teacher in charge of the body image program here at Doncaster Secondary approached by the leadership team, I'm a teacher of Year 8 English. Uh, we're looking for a program that could engage students. Uh, Sarah approached us from the Queen Victoria Women's Centre, said what, not only do we have a program for you, we'd like your students to be involved in the making of that program. Uh, so it's a fantastic opportunity that we took on. The impact the program had on the students was extremely positive. Uh, it was important for the peer leaders uh, to have that role in the classroom where they could speak to their peers and they developed leadership qualities as a result of that. Uh, watching them move around the classroom was fantastic. Uh, going up and asking questions and being able to answer those questions for the students in their class. Interacting with someone of their own age. Uh, for the, the peer group, so the class that they were teaching, it was a great opportunity for them to see the other students you know, who, who were their peers taking on those leadership roles and being able to interact with them. It gave them a goal for something to work towards for themselves. Uh, but more importantly, they were speaking their language. And I think that was the key with this particular program. I was being taught by students, uh, being taught in their language and uh, answering and asking questions that they had in regards to the body image issue. The impact it's had on me it gave me a bigger insight into not only female body image issues but certainly from a male perspective. Part of our design of the program was to make sure that males were included, that it wasn't too feminine orientated, that males had an opportunity to speak about their own body issues. One of the major uh, pieces of information that came through, that males are generally on par with female in regards to issues that they have with their body. Uh, so that massive impact on me gave me an opportunity to research it more uh, and certainly to make sure that when we were addressing that in class, that the students were taking advantage of that and including that into their program. Okay, so to start off with, I'll get you guys to start listing gender stereotypes. And if you guys want an open word document, and you can type them up while you guys listen. So I know something like to start you off like girls like pink, boys like blue, boys like trucks, boys like sports, girls like makeup, boys like video games, girls are more emotional, girls like shopping. The program is important for your eight students because they learn a lot about the media and misrepresentations like digital manipulation, gender stereotypes and body image. Well, teaching other students in um, the class was fairly easy but taking on a role as a facilitator and a peer support or a peer leader was um, kind of difficult to keep them quiet because a lot of them would talk and but by the end of it they listened and um, yeah, we got a lot of work done so it was pretty good. As a teacher, my role is to make sure the learning environment was suitable for my peer leaders to work in. Uh, part of that was going to a training expedition with the Queen Victoria Women's Centre. Uh, part of that was actually training the students up to uh, present what they have learnt at these particular functions and then enrol, uh, then talk to the students about that. To get the classes organised, normally we would go with Mr Don, our teacher, the period before or the day earlier and we'd go through what we're going to teach our classes and like run through the activities and make sure we're all on track and then on the day we would normally set up tables if it was group activities, write anything that was needed on the board beforehand. Well to run the class we um, all got up as a group and we talked about what we we're going to do that um, period about the modules that we were going to be learning. So we set up the projector, got up the um, website that we um, came up with and we got them to do the activities, we helped them around, whatever they need help with. So it was a pretty, um, fairly simple and easy class to manage. So. I assist the students running the program by supplying the materials. We'd spend a lot of time before the actual lesson taking place uh, going through what our rundown for the day was. Uh, I'd ask them for their input, uh, which was always difficult because they needed to understand you know, how long things would go for. Uh, which gave them a good insight into the actual running of a classroom, that there's more to it than just rocking up on the day. Uh, 
Uh, so it's important for them to understand that the timing is required, that we need to cover certain VELS parts, which is fantastic because the program had that all included, so we didn't have to do too much research. The website was designed in that manner, so we just had the easy access to a number of different programs, uh, but be able to put it into a 75 minute time slot and be able to have the students engaged during that time was important to keep things moving, especially with the Year 8 class. The module we'll be doing today is Gender Stereotypes, which is all about grouping boys and girls into different categories and listing things about them. And we'll be doing things like raising awareness of how females and males are represented in the media. Standing back and letting the students run the lesson was quite difficult initially. Uh, you get used to just being the person in charge and uh, running the show and letting you know what the next task is, etc. Uh, my role was to, to take a back seat, literally. Uh, I had to sit towards the back of the class and allow my peer leaders to run the lesson. It was fantastic watching them you know, work the way they worked and, and communicate with their peers. Uh, I actually learned a lot uh, just by sitting back and observing, seeing where other students, you know, who was working well, who sort of got uh, distracted from the task at hand, and then be able to apply that to my own teaching, uh, making sure that the activities that we did uh, were engaging to the students. The See Me project was accepted really positively by students. The student leaders showed incredible maturity and dedication in their development of the project. Um, so the See Me project was developed by the student leaders with the Queen Victoria Women's Centre and our project partners. From here our plans for the program are to instil it into our Year 8 program. Uh, last year was just a trial run to see how it went. Uh, and the result of speaking for themselves. The students are engaged, the peer leaders had an opportunity to teach their classes, so we want to make sure that this is a holistic approach uh, across all our Year 8 classes in the future. We'll start small, uh, we'll start with one more class this year, and then from there, ideally, it will be as part of our curriculum at the school. Being a part of this program, I, we all got a lot of experience in teaching our peers and our classmates, and it was really fun doing it as well, and we learnt a lot about the media and things about it.